basketball team going here. Good luck tonight. Um, so now we have uh, the core seats up here uh, to be recognized. Chase is uh, signing to play at East Georgia State College um, to continue his uh, academic and baseball career. Uh, Chase and I have had quite the history. I think I met you. How old were you when I first met you? Six. It's been a long time over at Next Level and everything else and over at North Gwinnett. I've known uh, Coach Corsi for uh, probably even a little bit longer than that before I actually got to meet Chase and Cam and Keelan. Um, I have absolutely <laughs> taken him through the ringer and back, not only just from knowing him for, I don't even know the math on that, 10 years, um, a little bit more, 12. I'm a PE teacher, so. Um, but for the 12 years, not only knowing him from that and having him for four years this year, but I also, um, when I used to go over to Next Level, I'd give him catching lessons and do uh, camps that they had over there and everything else. And there were quite a few times where uh, I think he ended up throwing up from some of the workouts we did and everything else. Um, the catcher is no beautiful position. Or catching is not a beautiful position by any means. Uh, I mean, you're a glutton for punishment. Your entire job is out there to make the pitcher look good. You're supposed to know what everybody else does. A lot of people say that it's the quarterback of baseball. I like to think of it more as a linebacker because um, it's defensive and because they're the ones that are calling the shots and uh, they're involved in every, every facet of the game from that side. Um, Chase has done a phenomenal job. The, the three years going into this year that he's been here, um, every catching coaches and head coaches dream is to have a catcher that you can trust to call pitches. And Chase has been that guy since probably about sophomore year where we more or less give him suggestions and he pretty much just runs with it from there. Um, the way that he plays is it, it's, it's awe-inspiring. It's, it's amazing to watch him do what he does behind the plate, control the game the way that he does it. Um, and honestly, it's no mystery that he is being afforded the opportunity to play for four more years. Um, very excited to see what the future holds for you. Some of the awards that he's had, he was Defensive Player of the Year um, in 2018 here. Um, and he's also the two-time uh, award winner at the All-County Awards for the uh, Hustle and Attitude Award. Um, he is, we, we, we have a lot of these guys. But uh, he is one of the guys that will literally run through a brick wall, not for the coaches, but for his teammates. Um, the leadership that he brings and what he brings to the table, you guys who know him best, you know exactly what I'm talking about and all that he gives to this program where, I, I mean, I think honestly on his pecking order of things, it's probably God and then I think family and baseball is probably a very, very close um, two and two A. Um, but it's just, it's, it's been a pleasure. I know this is the end of the road. I know that we're excited, just like everybody else is, for what's in store for this season. Um, but on behalf of Lanier Baseball and Lanier High School and everybody that's here, I'd like to say congratulations. And I'm going to turn it over to you to say a few words. Well, uh, I think uh, Zach surprised us all with that incredible speech. It's going to be a uh, very much a hard one to follow up, but I have a, a couple things. First and foremost, I'd, I'd like to thank God for giving me the ability to play this game and the countless number of opportunities he's, he's given me and the lessons he's given me. Next, I would like to thank uh, Coach Wyman and his family. Yeah, throughout my whole life, he's done so many things. I have countless number of things, and he's truly been a blessing in my life as far as personal and Athletically, and I don't think I can ever pay him for all the stuff he's done for me. Uh, next, I would like to uh, I would like to thank my family, my parents, and my brother for all the uh, countless hours and countless miles that they've driven and they put into my dream and just all the support and love that they show. And for this little girl right here, and she drives me crazy, but. <laughs> She's really, I, I, I love her to death, I'll do anything for her. Uh, next, I would like to, uh, I would like to shout out all my friends along the way, and just everything you've done for me, all the, all the support, and always being there when I'm angry, sad, happy, whatever it may be, just always being there when they fit. I want to shout out all the family over here, my aunt, 
parents, uncles, grandparents, everybody, my cousins, uh, just always being there, coming to coming to all my games, and just being just being amazing supporters throughout this whole process. I would also I would also like to uh, shout out my grandfather Manny up in heaven right now, who uh, always watching over us. Throughout all of our dreams. I would like to thank everybody here today. There's a lot of you here, and all of you have played huge roles in the process, not only for me, but for Zach and everybody else in the team who whose day is coming up soon. I would also like to give a special shout out. Coach McCombie and Coach Hub over in East Georgia for blessing me with this opportunity. And today I would like to uh, I'd like to say that I'm very blessed to be a Bobcat.